What's up guys? As you might remember from a few weeks ago, Apple unveiled iOS 7 at WWDC and uh, for the lucky few of us that are developers, you are able to uh, get the iOS 7 Beta 1 and 2 on your iOS device. But for those of us who aren't, there are a couple of uh, good people in the jailbreaking community that have uh, released this theme and a bunch of tweaks that will allow you to replicate iOS 7 in iOS 6. So in this video I'm going to uh, show you how to get that and as you can see it's just going to be a demonstration of that. So the uh, first step to getting this um, theme is to install the popular City of Tweak Winterboard. Now for those of you who don't know what that is, Winterboard is a nice tweak or app that um, lets you theme iOS so you can change uh, various elements about it like the look of the icons, uh, notification center, multitasking, all sorts of things. So as you can see here, the icons on the home screen have all been changed so that they match what has been presented in the iOS 7 betas. So if you look here, you know, the phone icons different, mail, safari, music, uh, they've all been changed and a couple of third-party app icons have been changed as well so if I go into my jailbreak folder you can see there the uh, Cydia, Activator, iFile, Flux and Winterboard icons have all been updated as well so the first step is to make sure you uh, go and get Winterboard which is free in Cydia the next step is to download the uh, iOS 7 theme now uh, there is a specific theme, you, if you search up iOS 7 theme in the City of Search tab it's the first result that comes up so what you want to do is tap on that and uh, go and download that and uh, respring or reboot your device once you've done that what you want to do then is uh, open up Winterboard and then go and tap on select themes and you'll see there are all these options that have um, got iOS uh, 7 on them what you want to do is uh, check all of them except maybe the black labels and the grey options and for all of them that have got uh, put top in brackets you just want to make sure you drag those up to the top just like that and then you'll see a respring button there and then what you want to do is respring your device once your device has finished respringing and you've um, unlocked it again what you want to do is uh, go back into Cydia and you'll want to go get another tweak called uh, Bytefont. Now what Bytefont lets you do is change the um, the font that's uh, on the iOS device. So uh, for those of you who might know the uh, usual font that your iOS device displays everything in is uh, Helvetica and what we want to do is change it to a new font that's now used in iOS 7. So what you want to do is uh, go and download Bytefont from Cydia and then respring your device and then go back into Cydia and you want to uh, download the iOS 7 font. So what that involves is again opening up Cydia, going to the search tab and you just simply search iOS 7 font and it's the first and it's really the only result there. So you go and download that and then you open up Bytefont and it's a, man and it's a matter of just hitting the uh, basic tab and then just tapping on iOS 7 and uh, respringing your device and then once your device is resprung you should see that all the text like under these app icons uh, all the text in uh, all your apps and settings and all sorts of things they'll all be in this uh, new um, font that Apple's using in iOS 7 and then once you get that done there is an uh, optional step if you so choose is to go and get a uh, another popular Cydia tweak called DeepEnd. Now what DeepEnd does is it um, uses your iPhone's accelerometer to uh, produce the parallax that Apple was demonstrating with iOS 7. Now I uh, did uh, get DeepEnd but from personal experience I just don't think it's really worth it because you know you need to get certain pictures for it to be really good and it has to zoom in on the pictures and for some reason it just it didn't really meet my expectations so I didn't get it but if you want to really replicate the iOS experience you can uh, go and get that package so that's uh, DeepEnd and all the tweaks I've mentioned so far are free so you know don't hesitate to go get them um, they're all free they're all small downloads so yep they're really worth it uh, the next thing you want to do is to go and get NC settings 
which is uh, kind of similar to SB settings if any of you have ever tried that. Um, so it, it gives you these uh, neat notification, these to neat toggles in the notification center. And as part of the iOS 7 theme package, it will actually give you the um, option to change the look of those NC setting icons uh, to make them match um, the control center iOS 7 icons. So what you want to do is open up settings and then go into NC settings right there and then you go down to theme tap on that and you'll have three and then you want to make sure you've selected iOS 7 don't need to respring your device and as you can see in the notification center it comes up just like uh, the control center notifications so the next step you want to do if you have auxo is to just double check that when you're using auxo uh, that you've got this neat little um iOS 7 inspired uh, theme it comes it also comes with the iOS 7 theme package um, so what you want to do is make sure you get that and or not get it just double check that it works if you guys don't know what auxo is it's an awesome uh, app switcher replacement like it replaces the default iOS app switcher and it's just so much better um, I've got a video on the uh, iOS 7 um, on the auxo app switcher so if you just click on the screen or check the description I'll have a link to that um, but yeah do do get that uh, because it really is worth it now for all the tweaks that I've mentioned uh, the majority of them all the ones that you need to replicate iOS 7 theme and uh, look and feel uh, they're all free uh, the only exception is auxo which you do have to pay for but after you watch my video or if you've heard about it you would know that it is a uh, definitely worth the uh, very little money that you have to pay for it. So um, as you can see, by installing all those tweaks, you get this awesome um, iOS 7-like experience with all these, um, with the removal of the linen and all these uh, opaque and transparent elements, uh, nice looking notification center, you know, good looking toggles, and uh, all these awesome icons. It just looks really nice and it gives you the added functionality of being able to retain your jailbreak and remain on a stable version of iOS, which is, you know, even better. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.